بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمود حسین اینڈ ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن اباؤٹ نیو فور جے وٹ از نیو فور جے نیو فور جے از اے گراف ڈٹا بیس اف وی سرچ اباؤٹ اے گراف ڈٹا بیس ویل سی the graphs like this so a graph database is a database in which data is stored in the format of graph there are some nodes and edges all of the information is stored in a node about any entity and uh, then there are relationships between those entities Now, what is the main major difference between uh, graph databases and relational databases? Here we can see each node is independent from other node. Yet, uh, there can be the types of node, like you can see this uh, orange, these are orange nodes, this, this could be one type of node that is post here and uh, so on. Like we can see here in any other graph that uh, there are different types of node like these are entity nodes represented by pink color and officer node green color so each node is independent of other and all of the information about one node is stored in that node and then there are edges edges also contain information about the relationship between nodes so graph databases are much more popular than relational databases because they have several uh, benefits or uh, several uh, good aspects then the relational databases in terms of uh, uh, comprehension in terms of uh, utilization in terms of space in terms of efficiency like uh, for instance if we want to extract data from a relational database you you know that uh, relational databases are considered offline databases the whole database is stored in your secondary storage and uh, whenever you query uh, the data the table the data from the table comes into the memory so let's consider that uh, you want to extract a student complete data about a student so you know that data is divided into several tables so one may contain students personal information other may contain student academic record and its primary key is going to be utilized in uh, the other table this table may contain students academic record this table may contain student students grade and again this table in this table uh, the students uh, primary key would be used as a foreign key here so so if uh, if you want to extract all of the data then this table would come into the memory and uh, then you know that there are joins that would bring uh, the next table into the memory 
and then the next table into the memory and then the next table into the memory so all of the tables one by one would come into the memory and then uh, there would be some joins or then uh, data would be uh, compiled together and then it will be uh, forward uh, to the application so uh, there is a great benefit of using a graph database is that all of the data about a student can be represented within a node like its uh, personal information can be here its uh, academic record of one of one student like a student name is ali so its uh, personal information is there its academic record is here its grade grade information is there and so on so on so this is a node of a student type so there can be a number of nodes of student types in a graph and uh, then there can be number of nodes of uh, teacher type in a graph database and those nodes can be attached to each other with some links like this and their relationship could be like uh, this that uh, this teacher is taught by this student is taught by this teacher or this teacher teaches this student and this student is a friend of this student and so on so graph databases can not only be used for uh, normal databases in uh, artificial intelligence uh, graph databases can also be uh, can also be used to store knowledge representations as well as this can be used to model uh, cognitive memories and the most important thing is the graph databases are in memory databases all of the database uh, would be created within the memory and then uh, the query would work on it so it work more uh, faster and efficiently uh, as compared to relational databases so uh, the most uh, famous graph database is a uh, neo4j when you write it on google you will immediately get to the website you can download it from here uh, but there are a lot more resources on its official website you can also approach uh, to them uh, first of all uh, you can see that uh, there are download links we can come to the later on first of all we will explore uh, their website a little bit so uh, neo4j is very powerful tool very powerful tool uh, for making graph databases it is not just restricted to the graph databases it also present you also gives you uh, hundreds of graph algorithms you can apply data apply on the data uh to extract uh, information uh, out of the text out of the graph and to perform analytics on the graph uh, these algorithms also uh, can consist of uh, um, machine learning algorithms natural language processing algorithms uh, similarity algorithms path finding algorithms all of the algorithms are there you can uh, just uh, apply on the graphs new forge graphs are exactly like this this is exactly new forge graph you can see here so this could be like this this could be like this so these are all examples of the new forge graph basically so huge amount of data can be modeled uh, into the uh, new forge graphs so uh, let's see that how much popular is this and uh, which of the big companies are using it so if you click here see our customer you will see that uh, all of the big giants are using it you can see uh, the icig the panama leaks the actual panama leaks analysis wa was done on new 4j graph and walmart ebay microsoft is there ibm is there
so telenode is using it and uh, you can see hp is using it and all of the big companies cambridge university press is using it so a lot of big companies are utilizing this new 4j for modeling their databases and graph based analysis on the text further if you come down you will see some important resources first of all uh, you can get uh, the graph algorithms examples here then this very important uh, application of the new 4j that is a new 4j sandbox sandbox are basically uh, built in database database is available online uh, for different scenarios you can uh, and just uh, and just use them for your case studies uh, for uh, for your practice for extracting some important information to learn how to extract impo important information out of the text out of the graph databases and then there are some books available graph databases book is there is very important graph algorithms are there and then sandbox are there you you should uh, uh, you should explore all of these so then there are some learning tracks available you can also explore them and then uh, there is a guide for rdms if you are rd uh, rdbms relational database management system developers uh, then uh, you can uh, go through from this guide uh, to get on new 4j very easily uh, it's very easy to uh, convert a relational database into the new 4j because it accepts uh, uh, csv files uh, very easily to convert from a relational database to the graph database Further, for your uh, wider understanding, you can also read their white papers. 